Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2020, Question 14. A large spherical balloon is deflating. At time t seconds, the balloon has radius r centimetres and volume v cubic centimetres. The volume of the balloon is modelled as decreasing at a constant rate. Using this model, we need to show that dr by dt equals minus k over r squared, where k is a positive constant. So we know the volume is decreasing at a constant rate. So dv by dt, the change in the volume, must be equal to negative because it's decreasing c, which is a constant that we need to find. We also know that the balloon is spherical, so its volume must be 4 thirds pi r cubed, which we can differentiate with respect to r to give us dv by dr equals 4 pi r squared. By the chain rule, we know that dv by dt must equal dv by dr times dr by dt. Well, we've got dv by dt, that's minus c. We've got dv by dr is 4 pi r squared. So we can substitute those in to give minus c equals 4 pi r squared times dr by dt. Dividing both sides by 4 pi r squared gives us that dr by dt equals minus c over 4 pi r squared. Well, c is a constant, 4 pi is a constant. So we can replace that part with k. So we get minus k over r squared, where k is equal to c over 4 pi. Given that the initial radius of the balloon is 40 centimetres, and after 5 seconds the radius of the balloon is 20 centimetres, and the volume of the balloon continues to decrease at a constant rate until the balloon is empty, we need to solve the differential equation to find a complete equation linking r and t. So we've got that dr by dt equals minus k over r squared. To solve this, we're going to need to do some integration to get rid of the dr by dt. To do this, we're going to need to multiply the r squared up so it's on the same side as the dr. So we get r squared dr by dt equals minus k. If we now integrate both sides with respect to t, the right-hand side will just integrate nicely with respect to t. The left-hand side, by the chain rule, will have dr by dt by dt. Hence, the dt's will cancel. So we'll get the integral of r squared dr equals the integral of minus k dt. These are easy enough to integrate. So we get a third r cubed equals minus kt plus alpha, where alpha is our constant of integration. We've now got some values to put into this. We know that the initial radius of the balloon is 40 centimetres. So at t equals 0, r equals 40. Putting them into our equation, we get a third times 40 cubed equals minus k times 0, which becomes 0, plus alpha. So alpha must be equal to 64,000 over 3. We also know that at t equals 5 seconds, the radius is 20. So substituting these in along with the alpha we've just worked out, gives us that a third times 20 cubed equals minus 5k plus 64,000 over 3. Subtracting the 64,000 over 3 from both sides gives us that minus 56,000 over 3 equals minus 5k. So k equals 11,200 over 3. We can now put our alpha and our k into our formula. So we get a third r cubed equals minus 11,200 over 3 times t plus 64,000 over 3. Well, all three of those terms are over 3. So multiplying 3 by 3 gives us that r cubed equals minus 11,200t plus 64,000. Part C, we need to find the limitation on the values of t for which the equation in part B is valid. So our equation for part B was r cubed equals minus 11,200t plus 64,000. So the left hand side is the radius cubed. Well, our radius can't be smaller than zero. We can't have a negative radius. Hence, the cube of the radius must also be larger than or equal to zero. So this means our right hand side uh, minus 11,200t plus 64,000 is larger than or equal to zero. 
adding 11,200t to both sides gives us that 11,200t is smaller than or equal to 64,000. Dividing that through gives us that t is smaller than or equal to 40 over 7. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.